today's kitchen conundrum, we are tackling the lighter and thinner version of the American pancake, and that is the French crepe. Crepes are notoriously difficult for people to make at home. They might get the consistency wrong or they might not know how to make them in the pan. Well, today I'm gonna to show you the very simple recipe in making crepes and the technique behind it all. So first of all, we need two cups of whole milk. And today I'm using a blender to mix my crepe batter together. You could certainly use a bowl and a whisk. I just think that a blender really helps make a really nice consistent batter. To this, I'm gonna add three whole eggs. These are large eggs at room temperature five tablespoons of unsalted butter that I have melted and have cooled. You don't want this to be too hot. A half teaspoon of kosher salt and one and three quarter cups of all purpose flour. So very simple ingredients, ingredients that you probably already have on hand. Filling up my blender almost to the top, but we'll start on low speed. Cap this up and you wanna blend this until it's nice and consistent. It almost has the texture of heavy cream. So that'll take a few minutes here in the blender. So that our batter looks great. Now, just to ensure that there are no lumps in the batter, I'm going to strain the crepe mix through a fine mesh strainer. There shouldn't be any lumps, but if there are, you can just push them through. One trick here is in letting your batter rest overnight. So I'm gonna cover it with plastic wrap. This goes into the refrigerator and this resting period helps to develop the flavor in the crepe batter and ultimately the end crepe. And also it helps to relax the batter and it yields a less tough crepe. So the crepe batter has been resting overnight. You can see the consistency. It's nice and thick and smooth. That time in the refrigerator overnight, what it does is if there are any air bubbles that accumulate in the batter, they slowly float up to the top and dissipate so it makes an even smoother batter. I have an eight inch nonstick skillet heating over medium heat and just lightly brush the pan with a little bit of melted butter, not too much. The more butter you add to the pan, the more of a pattern, a brown speckled appearance you'll get on your crepe. And to my crepe pan here, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of crepe batter, swirl the batter in the pan, coming up along the sides, and you're going to cook this until the edges start to lift up from the sides of the pan, and the edges will start to turn a golden brown color. Now in Paris, they have crepe carts all over the city with flat burners, and you actually spread the crepe batter on the pan, and they make these delicious, wonderful crepes. This seems to be looking good. It has a nice color, a few minutes on each side, and then what you can do with crepes, which is really great, is you can make them in advance. You can make them the day before and put them into the refrigerator before you're ready to serve them with either a sweet or a savory filling, or you can freeze crepes in stacks as well. You just wanna make sure that you defrost them thoroughly before you try and separate them. This guy looks great here, right onto the stack. Gently slide your offset spatula. You can use a rubber scraper here, just using this to kind of peel up the side of the crepe and then give it one flip. And there you go. You have the recipe for the crepe batter. And with these expert tips and tricks, you will have success with crepes every single time you make them. Enjoy. Enjoy.